Today's project is a bald eagle eye. The list of supplies I used is listed below this video. I'm starting with the pupil and black part surrounding the iris using neutral tint and indigo mix. I'm using a number two brush. There's no highlight in the eye, but I'm putting one in. This project is worked using mostly wet on dry technique. There's a lot of detail work in the eyes of animals and birds, so I slowed the video down here so you could watch better the process of painting that detail. It does take some time and patience to get that right. Now here you can see that I sped up the video again, um, but you can see well enough the detail, the outlining of the eye. And I'm still using burnt umber. There's probably some neutral tint mixed in there. And there I'm beginning the feathers on the left hand side and working some gold ochre on the right hand side. And that helps with the transition into his beak area. Now here you can see that I'm laying in the first layer of cadmium yellow pale around the ring of his eye. And some gold ochre at the top there. Starting to form the brow, the eyebrow. Eagles and birds of prey have deep set eyes. It shades their eyes from the sun. In order to indicate that deep set, you've got to have it pretty dark at the top, the top part of the brow. And here you can see I'm laying in a layer of cadmium yellow lemon for the iris of his eye. Now we're starting to get into the fun part of the painting where things really start to come together and you can see the personality of the eagle. And that's because I'm deepening the color around his eye with gold ochre. And then I will deepen the color at the top part of his iris with gold ochre as well. Um, this is a spot here where you can see I decided that the iris was too small, so I did, decided to make that bigger. And that's what I'm doing right there. And I did it now before I started doing the detail on the iris. Okay, the dramatic part really begins right about now where I'm adding burnt umber to the top part of that eye ring. And now I'm wetting the iris part, as you can see, and I'll be adding a mix of burnt umber and gold ochre to the top part of the iris there, and that is to indicate shadow area. Because I wetted the iris first, you can see how the colors blend really well together. And now things are really starting to take shape in the eye. Now the drama really starts to unfold as I put a layer of burnt umber over the top part of the iris. It helps his eye to look like it's more in shadow. Now coming up here, you see that I wiped off my brush. This is called lifting out. My brush is wet, but I'm lifting out some of that burnt umber to let the cadmium yellow lemon shine through. And you'll see a little bit later that I'll take the burnt umber and I'll add those lines on the bar bottom part of the iris as you see 
in my photo. Here I'm starting the feather detail in the front of the eye and the back of the eye as well. Sometimes that gives me a better look at the iris so I can see what's going on there. I will work around an area to see how another area looks within, in this case, an eagle's eye. Sometimes that gives you a better perspective. Darkening the bottom part of his eye helps to define it and it also helps it to come out more. You can see it much better and gives it a lot of definition. Here I'm adding the light brown lines in his iris with burnt umber and I thank you for joining me. Here's the finished product and I will see you next week.